Hey, what's happening guys? Before we start with today's video, I would like to wish all of my Christian friends a peaceful and somber Good Friday and a happy Easter, and to my Jewish friends, a happy and peaceful Passover. With that being said, let's talk some electronics. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. There'll be a little ad at the end of this. Check them out. Do me a favor, click the link. Just go to their website. Helps me out, helps you out, helps them out. Everybody gets some help, all right? So what I got for you today is a classic circuit. And this is a super simple one. This is probably about as easy as cap, cap, <laughs> Catholic circuits. No, classic circuits. Catholic circuits, that's an entirely different thing that I am not uh, qualified to speak about. Okay, so first of all, you see there is a little 8-pin IC here. That 8-pin IC that you see there is a TL072 op-amp, but you could substitute any op-amp you want. It, it doesn't matter. And we're only using one side. You could use either side. We're using the A side. So down here on the bottom run, we have pin number one, which is our A out. Pin number two is our inverting input. Pin number three is our non-inverting input. Pin four is our V minus. Pin eight is V plus. Pin five is the B channel in uh, inverted, non-inverted, and out. But there's your pin out of the TLO72. Now, let's talk about what this circuit does. This simple little circuit here is a voltage monitor. It can be an under voltage monitor or an over voltage monitor, depending on which way you put it, but either way, it works great. So let's go over the uh, parts in this circuit here, and I'll try and be as clear as I can so that you guys can understand. So again, at the heart here is our TL072. Pin eight is going directly to VCC which in our case here today is five volts. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Pin four, our negative V goes to ground. Pin one is our output. It could go to anything you want, a relay, uh, the input to a microcontroller, anything. I'm simply using an LED here with an integral uh, current limiting resistor just to show you when the op amp turns on. Now, this is where we set up the threshold, the level at which when we cross it, the op amp will activate and output a high signal on pin one. So what we have here is just a potentiometer. You know, one side goes to, to ECC, one goes to ground, and the other is coming over here to a voltage divider. So what we have here, this is a 10K pot. This is a 10K resistor. And uh, let me get a meter here. Hang on one second. While I get the meter ready, take a look at this quick video from Solder Stick. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. Waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits. Spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount. Okay, I had to turn off the big bright overhead light so we can see what's up. So I'm going to take one end of this and just going to attach it to the ground here somewhere. Nah, it's not gonna work. Why did I think that would work? Nah, I'm just being silly, right? All right, try this again. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this seemed like such a good idea when I did it. Okay, so. If we come up here and we look at our voltage across. 4.983, so that's our, you know, that's our 5 volts. And if we come here and we look at our output voltage, this is our threshold voltage. So, if our input is higher than 3.551 volts, then it's going to activate the LED. So if we come over here and we look at what our input voltage is, it's 2.8. All right, keep your eye on the LED and the voltage, and I'm going to increase the voltage. And watch what happens when we reach that 3.5 volt. So there's 3 volts, 3.4. Oh, 3.6, where's it going to turn on? Of course, now it's not going to turn on because I don't have something's wrong. Ah, crap. That was strange. As soon as I pulled the uh, the probe out, it went off. So there's 3.4. There we go, 3.7. Turned on. Where's it turn off at? 3... 3.538, and what, what's our threshold level? 3.551. So yeah, anytime your input voltage is higher than the threshold voltage you've set with the potentiometer, this will alert you. Simple, yes? Okay. So let's go over here and let's uh let's reset our voltage here. 3.6 volts, we'll put about halfway, about 2.5, somewhere in that range. So there's 2.5 volts, right? Okay. So you want to switch this from an over voltage indicator to an under voltage indicator, kind of like a battery monitor. Here's all you need to do. Swap numbers two and three. So our output voltage now, or our input voltage rather, is 3.4 volts. Our threshold voltage still hasn't changed, 3.5. What if we lower Lowering our threshold voltage here. We're going to put it down to 3 volts. 3 volts. Where are we at here? 3 volts. So now anytime this goes lower than 3 volts. Hmm. Once again, not behaving. Why is it not going any lower? Because I'm in the wrong one. Yeah, there's two volts, no volts. And when we reach over that 3.2, see, we're at 3.2 volts now. Everything is hunky-dory, but when your battery falls too low, oh no, your low battery light is on. So I hope you can see here how absolutely simple of a circuit this is and why I call it a classic circuit. Here is the circuit diagram. There's our input. It's running into pin three for the over voltage indicator. Remember, swap two and three for the under voltage indicator. There's our LED coming out. Those just go to ground. Yeah. That's all there is to it, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this simple little classic circuit. I mean, really, what's it require? Two comp three components, a resistor, a potentiometer, and your IC, and then, you know, some wires. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Big thanks to the patrons. And a huge thanks to Solder Stick for sponsoring the channel, sponsoring this video, and making some really cool wire terminators. That's it. I'm out. Peace.